Welcome everyone. So we are so excited, Gabriella and I, to share today's webinar with you on pregnancy, fertility, babies, and beyond. So this is all about prenatal care. So from fertility to babies, to what to take and not take in your pregnancy, and also some information for kids and babies and what you can use. So we're happy to be here today answering your questions any concerns that you have. And so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so make sure that you guys can definitely see here. So present. Okay, can you guys see this all right? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so natural solutions with essential oils and the oils that we're talking about today are gonna be purely doTERRA essential oils, which are medicinal and pharmaceutical grade essential oils. And we're gonna explore and talk a little bit more about why and what makes them the most safe, the most trusted and the most tested oils on the market today. So my name is Mina Campos. I am a holistic healthcare practitioner. I've also worked at a fertility acupuncture clinic for two years. I'm a licensed massage therapist and a yoga instructor. I've been in the holistic realm since 2003. So I've been doing this for almost 20 years now. And most recently I've become a mother. So I've gone through my own journey in pregnancy, um, working at a fertility clinic at, for two years. Um, and even now life coaching, helping women that are going through the fertility process, women that are pregnant and beyond in postpartum and postpartum care. So I feel really excited to share all that I've learned and all the results and experiences that I have with you guys today. And I'm really excited to actually also be doing this with one of my favorite business partners, Gabriela Fernandez, and I'll let her introduce herself. Thank you. And um, so you can see me, I'm sure. Uh, my name is Gabriela, and, uh, and I am also a yoga instructor that um, at some point in my career as a yoga instructor took me into the prenatal postnatal category. So I've been teaching prenatal and postnatal yoga for the last eight years. I also am a trained doula. So I work with moms to prepare them, you know, for their baby arrival. Uh, and then I've been with them during their birthing. And it's just such a blessing to be part of the process and to be present. And it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful gift of life that I can be supporting women into all the process. And I am not a mom of a human. I'm a mom of a dog, uh, but I definitely realize that being the mother of any living creature, it is definitely the, the, you know, the feeling about maternity and taking care of something or something or someone that needs your love, support, mm -hmm. and care. And, you know, and we give, we give that love back. And uh, so a lot of what we do and talk about oils, I might not be giving that oil to a baby or a kiddo, but I give it to my Oreo cookie. So, oh. Is that his name, Oreo? Yeah, yeah Oreo. Oh, my dad's Oreo too. He's oh, like, oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so then we need to show our Oreos in a little bit, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. at the end, I'll, I'll call him and show his. He's a crazy one here. <laughs> awesome. awesome. And you guys definitely have to one day watch one of Gabriella's essential oils for dogs as well. She teaches, she's amazing at that. So, that's also really helpful. So, I mean, you know, these babies and we're moms and babies in all different forms. And um, Gabriella was super supportive to me during my pregnancy. And now with, you know, throughout my journey, stepping into motherhood and in my postpartum care. So I'm really grateful to have her in my life and presenting together. So going forward. So today, what we're going to really cover and what you're going to learn is three cool things about essential oils. 
right? We're going to keep it simple, three ways to use them, how to get them into their, your home. And the element and the whole theme is fertility, babies, and beyond. So number one, most important cool thing about essential oils is that they're safe. So they're natural and safe. There are benefits without side effects. So usually with medications and with medicine, right? There are side effects, but with essential oils, there are no side effects. And what you're actually getting with essential oils are additional benefits at the level of your physical body, your mental body, emotional body, and spiritual body. So you're getting added benefits without any side effect because they're natural. So they are working at the level of your body. They're made of the same components that our bodies are made of. So they're made bioavailable to our bodies and our bodies doesn't have adverse reactions to them. So they're safe also because they're extracted from plants. And so in this way, the way that they're extracted and the way that doTERRA extracts them purely and makes them CPTG, which is certified pure therapeutic grade, tested grade oils, they are very pure and potent. Different than essential oils that you may get from your local pharmacy or even Whole Foods or Target, which those oils, those are not pure. Those are adulterated. Even if they say 100% pure, organic, therapeutic, you'll see that on the bottom and on the back, it'll say not for internal use or for external use only. They will all say that, even the ones from Whole Foods, right? And that's how you know that they're not 100% safe and that they're adulterated because the essential oil companies and industry is actually not regulated by the FDA. It's regulated by the health and beauty sector. And in order for it to say organic and therapeutic, only 10% of the ingredients actually have to be pure and therapeutic. So what doTERRA did is that they created a third-party testing system, a CPTG certification, to make sure that their oils are at par with medicinal and pharmaceutical grade essential oils. So they're 100% safe and natural. And one of the most favorite oils that I love to use, especially during my pregnancy, but now not during nursing, so not post. So this is actually one of the oils that's amazing to use to with fertility during your pregnancy. But then once you start nursing, you don't wanna use peppermint anymore. But peppermint was my favorite because it's energizing. It promotes clear breathing. It cools the body, right? So our, our hormones tend to get really activated. We get really hot and it relieves head tension and nausea. But then once you start, but you can't do it while you're nursing because it actually dries out your milk supply. So you want to be careful with peppermint and any of the mints. So peppermint, spearmints, they will all dry out your milk supply. So the number one cool thing about essential oils is they're safe. And then Gabriella is going to take it away with number two. We can't hear you. Can you guys hear her? Yeah, okay, so now I put my, 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 my microphone on. And the, the oils are also effective. And we're talking about that is like um, the oils, every single oil, since we talk about they're coming from the properties of the plants, they are having all these benefits that we know every single plant, every single seed, everything from nature has a property. These properties are gonna be able to penetrate into not only your level of skin they go into your like you know your bloodstream but also the oils having a property that there's like the component is fat is oily they have the ability to penetrate the membrane of the cell so it's not like the traditional or modern chemical medicine that it is just based out of water is like oil with oil is able to blend. So it's able to penetrate into the cellular level. So anything that is happening into the cellular level, it can be healed. And these benefits of the oil is gonna penetrate into the cellular level. So here, what we're talking about is like the oil of Ongar is one of the Terra's number one oil for immunity or the favorite blend for immunity 
because uh, it has a few components that are like very strong into whatever is related into bacteria and it is, you know, oregano. It's a cinnamon. It has a little bit of a, it has cinnamon, oregano, clove, and orange, the peel of orange. And, uh, and I, if, yes, we got the meat. And uh, what it happens with that oil is a blend that is fantastic to support your immune system. So you can take it either aromatically, this A, T is topical, I is internal. So you can take this oil in the three ways. You can have it as a aroma. You can just diffuse it in your house and just be cleaning the air. You can have it topical. You can apply it into your, we're gonna talk about that. And then the internal, you can take it internally and all of these three ways is gonna help you with your immune system. The properties of this oil, you can use it to, you know, obviously irritation of the throat when you're having a cold sore, you know, a sore throat, or when you're having, you know, something that is coming to you, this is perfect for that. And that uh, to clean the house is fantastic as well. Now you're in the mine. <laughs> so then the number, the third thing about that's really cool about essential oils is that they're very affordable. So I love to make sure that I have nature's medicine cabinet in my home and in my client's home and in my friend's home and my family's home. Because when you think about like already having the oils set up in your home, they only cost pennies per dose right? Pennies with every single drop once you already have them, right? And when we think about also how $6.5 trillion a year are spent on global healthcare, and then we question, like, are we really healthier? Are, you know, like, we hear about, like, um, you know, heart conditions and all these different conditions. And like a lot of times people will see even pregnancy as an illness, which it's not, it's, it's an event and it's a, you know, an endurance practice and it's definitely a process, but it's, you're not sick. Right. So a lot of people are like, oh, you have to, you know, treat a pregnant woman very like frat, like she's fragile. And actually, no, women should be walking around and like, really, you know, being vital during the most vital part of this process of creation and even in the process of fertility, right? So making sure that, you know, healthcare isn't sick care and also making sure that we're doing things in an affordable way. So we save money with natural solutions because they're safe, they're effective. So we're not getting this, these, you know, these added extra benefits and side benefits and also we are able to already have these oils in our home and we don't have to drive somewhere. We don't have to drive to the doctors when we have nausea. We don't have to take time off work when kids are feeling sick, right? So this past week, my son actually was teething and he's eight months old, he was teething. And one of the symptoms of teething is actually that babies will have a runny nose. So, and, and right now during this time of life with you know everything that's going on, you think runny nose, you think coughing, you think like, oh my God, is my child okay, right? You never know, any little thing could be a bigger thing. So he had runny nose. I rubbed breathe on the bottoms of his feet a few times a day and at night, the breathe oil and voila, he, he feels better. I put lavender in his room to help him sleep. So just like using the essential oils to really help and not have to take him to the doctor, not have to take time off work, not have to, you know, drive, you know, in your car and waste gas. And like all of these things are already in your home. So when you think about making your life affordable, already having in place nature's medicine cabinet in your own home. And the essential oils are just pennies per dose with every drop, right? So a drop of a 15 milliliter bottle, it has 250 drops, right? So every time you use the drop, you're really, you know, able to save time and money. One of my favorite oils that I love to use for him every single day and night 
every single day, I mean, every single night, but da daily mm -hmm. is the lavender. So the lavender is important because it's very calming for the mind, calming for any kind of skin issues. It's very soothing. It's a natural antihistamine. So I actually have a friend in town right now from Michigan, and we went to Panera to have uh, some, some soup. And there were bees, right? Cause we're here up in Western New York and there were bees and they kind of linger around during the summer. She got bit by a bee, stung by a bee. So as soon as we got to the car, we put the lavender oil. She says, usually she gets a horrible reaction but because lavender is an antihistamine and because doTERRA's lavender is medicinal grade, pure, potent, super strong. We put lavender and basil on her bee sting and she is completely fine. It's like nothing ever happened. So these oils are really important because they are safe, they're, they're effective, and they are super affordable. And then the three ways that we use essential oil are aromatically, topically, and internally. Yeah, so... I was jumping into that a little bit before. So automatically it's like, uh, obviously you have a diffuser and that, and it's just like helping you into the house. You can have it and straight from the bottle, you can just smell it, or you can just apply a, pan, a drop into your hand, you know, and just like rub it and smell it. And definitely the benefits of aromatic can obviously help you, you know, to obviously, you know, like, change all your emotional level. It can be even from, you know, your emotions to calm them or to uplift you, depending on what type of oil you're looking for and what type of need is what you need. You need either more energy or uplifting or feeling happy, or maybe you are too, too much stimulus and what you need is calming, relaxing and bringing you down. Um, it definitely can help to, as I mentioned, having the on guard in a diffuser can be definitely something to clear up the air that we're breathing. I don't know if like some of you are back in an office or it's still, you know, we're still living with these, whether or not there's a bug out there and that whether or not we're open or not or willing or not to open our space and our friends or relatives to come to the house. I was saying this in another class I had, I said, you can have your diffuser running with on guard and you don't have to necessarily tell them, hey, wash your hands and don't, don't touch anything. So you relax, you have the air going on, and it's like, hey, it's cleaning the air, right? And um, so topically can be definitely, you know, what we said, you apply it in the bottom of the feet, so you apply it into the area, maybe you can apply it into the discomfort of like a muscle pain into your belly, or relaxing into the shoulders in a massage. Uh, we dilute it with fractionated coconut oil. The best way for the oil to penetrate into your skin is definitely, you know, in the bottoms of the feet. It can boost your immunity or help you with any other relaxation. And uh, Maina, maybe I give you one to read here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So um, the topically is great because you know, especially with the doTERRA essential oils, remembering that anything that we put on our skin, right, topically on our skin is going to go straight into our bloodstream, right? So even those oils, like people know that I love essential oils. So sometimes they'll gift me oils with the best intentions, right? But they're oils from like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or, you know, the, the local pharmacy. And they'll say not for internal use and for external use only. However, anything that we're breathing in, we have to remember that our skin is actually our largest breathing organ. And anything that we put on our skin goes straight into our bloodstream. So I would rather not use anything that already has toxins because nowadays, like our homes are filled with chemicals and toxins and part of living a healthy, holistic lifestyle and also part of maintaining a healthy life, right, is to question what is in our products and do we want to be healthy? So for me, I value low tox and non-toxic products. And that's why I work with doTERRA and I've partnered with doTERRA. So when remembering that anything that we put on our skin, or when we apply to the bottoms of our feet, when we apply to different areas to help soothe muscles, ease joint comfort, calm irritations to support our immune system, it's going straight into our bloodstream. And 
another the last way that we can use oils is internally. So dropping a drop of oil in your food. So I love to cook and make curries with my essential oils or make lavender lemonades, or you can take a shot of the tri-ease, which is lavender, peppermint, and lemon. If you're having seasonal allergies and a runny nose and you can take a shot of it in water, or if it's too strong for you, you can put it in an empty vegetable capsule and fill it up. And so doTERRA is the only essential oil that you can take internally and that it works medicinally. And so I felt fine even every morning when I was doing my regular routine, which is I put citrus oils, it's usually lemon or wild orange in water to help kind of get my day going and activate my body and feel uplifted and also do a little bit of detox. So that's, you know, the three ways that we use essential oils aromatically in your diffuser, topically on your skin and only doTERRA essential oils internally. So when we now talk about fertility and prenatal care, it's really important to remember that with fertility and preparing your body for pregnancy, right, your body is like a garden and you're preparing yourself to plant seeds and to sow, you know, fruits. And so you're really seeing the body as a whole. And it's really important even during prenatal care. So this is, this goes for all prenatal care. So for fertility, for pregnancy and beyond postpartum, you're going to, for uh, the nutrition part is going to be really important. So what are you putting into your body? So doTERRA has the long life vitality pack, which we're going to talk about later on a little bit more in depth, but we'll come back to it. So you're going to want to make sure your nutrition is up to par. You're going to want to make sure that your hormones, right? So your hormones are regulated. So using the Clary Calm and also the phytoestrogen will help to support that. You're going to want to detox if you're having uh, if you're wanting to prepare your body for fertility and you, natural fertility support, right? So detox, we use the endocrine, the endocrine complex, and also the lemon oil. And then for digestion and cleaning the terrazyme, the GX assist, and also the PB assist, which are probiotics and their natural um, double encapsulated probiotics. And so for fertility, this is what we use and this is what we recommend. So feel free to reach out to Gabriella and I, and we can go further with you about this fertility and, you know, and, and even make a blend learning like the best oils for fertility are going to be clary sage, right? And clary sage is good for fertility, but it's not good for pregnant women. So all pregnant women will stay away from clary sage until labor. It'll help you with labor, but it does not help you in pregnancy. It actually can um, onset uh, early labor. So you want to stay far away from clary sage, but you want to use clary sage before you get pregnant and lots of it after you get pregnant. And so geranium is amazing to support fertility and ovarian health. Same thing with fennel and same, same thing with ylang ylang. And this is all coming from the, the essential oil midwife that has this amazing book called Essential Oils for Pregnancy birth and babies. And so this was like my essential oil Bible when I was pregnant. And this is what I recommend to all mothers who are working with doTERRA and the essential oils. And so especially for fertility and hormone support, this is what we love to kind of work with and do. So we're going to go through pregnancy and oils and talk a little bit more about what we like to use in the first trimester. We have another slide coming up. Your knees now. There you are. So, uh, maybe I just start here for a little bit. So, let's talk about that. So. It's that time that you are pregnant and you are, you know, in that beautiful stage that you are preparing, you know, into a whole nine months process. But like I always say, like by the time that you learn, right, when you were pregnant, 
only if you were really planning for it and really monitoring every single day, am I pregnant, am I pregnant? That can be a different feeling of those women that it is just like, hey, we were trying and it happened, right? So when you know that you're pregnant, obviously your whole body is a whole century. It is like you are just like in that stage that you're just taking care of everything that happens to your body because you are the sanctuary, the temple, the house of this creature that you are creating. So the best thing that we recommend that you can do is in this prenatal care is like having enough supplements into your diet, having the right nutrition. And that is what is the LLB. It is uh, the long life vitality, the lifelong vitality path that is like a multivitamin the best product of doTERRA is this product, the LLB. And it is like all the minerals and supplements, you know, into the minerals, vitamins that you need in a combination with your essential, with your um, omegas and uh, anti-inflammatories anti and antioxidants. So that is the LLB. So it is also combined with the PBSs that is probiotics. So obviously we know the probiotics assist in having the, great, the good bacteria in the stomach to stimulate the good digestion. And this terracine that is as the number is telling it, enzymes that is gonna help your body to have the perfect uh, absorption of the nutrients that you have into your, you know, into all your food and what you're eating. And obviously, you know, extra folate. And, um, optimal, you know, bone nutrients that are like necessary for your body. And it's obviously complex of fiber and greens. You need all of them to have the perfect nutrition. And the oils that we recommend that can be either for, you know, we know the first trimester can be a little bit of like fatigue, motion sickness, uh, morning sickness, the tender of the breast, uh, headache, or like uh, mild acne. The oils that we recommend for that, it is as this slide will show a little bit more. It is, this is what we're recommending. So for the morning sickness, ginger, a few ginger drops into your water or peppermint. Uh, you can put peppermint. I'll leave you talking about it, man. I don't want to take over the whole show. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. So peppermint is going to be great. You can put it directly on your tongue, on the back of your neck, on your chest for instant relief. So peppermint is a very cooling oil. Cardamom was my savior during morning sickness. Ginger was amazing. And a lot of women do very well with it. But for me, it was actually very heating. It made me too hot. So you have to really, you know, medicine is going to have a different reaction based on different people. So you have to see what works for you. So I have a girlfriend that she lived by the ginger oil. For me, it was too heating. So you have to see different bodies and how you tolerate it. But cardamom, worked really well for me. Digestin was another one that I love to take and also for mild acne and anything that could come up. Tea tree oil is amazing. The HD clear and then the Virage skincare line is all amazing for that as well. So we have an awesome spa line. Another thing that I also took during my first trimester for fatigue was the Mito 2 Max supplements. For energy, I love to diffuse elevation, cheer, motivate. For anxious feelings, you're going to want to work with adaptive, the Copaiba, and there's also soft gels for these. And the Copaiba is so amazing for sleep and also relaxing. It's the anti-stress and de-stress. Um, and then for digestion, immune support, lemon, and putting that in your water daily. So the, the lemon oil was so helpful for me as well with anything that I had. And then a quick pick me up and for energy, always going to work with peppermint. So all of these oils, you're going to want to drop in the palm of your hands, take some deep breaths, put in your diffuser, massage into your back, your neck, your shoulders, put on the bottoms of your feet. For breast tenderness, you're going to massage lavender Aroma touch and also ger uh, geranium was another one that I really like to massage in my breast. So anytime I had tenderness and then any kind of hormonal headaches, you're going to use deep blue on the back of your neck, frankincense on the bottom on, on sublingually. Past tense is another one that's amazing for any kind of headaches. Lavender is amazing also on the temples and then taking the bone nutrient supplement and complex is going to be amazing as well. For the second trimester, now usually people are feeling better. 
You're going to continue with your LLV with your vitamins that can be used as prenatal support. Um, and then you're going to want to use and start thinking more about oils for stretch marks, digestive discomfort, respiratory discomfort, because all of the organs are kind of shifting and your body's changing so much, aches and discomfort, urinary support, and immune support. So for the second trimester for L, the stretch marks, you're going to want to use the Immortel. So you can, can blend it and massage it into the sides of your belly. The Yarrow Palm is amazing. Yarrow Palm is number one top oil. It's kind of blue. It's very thick. And that one's amazing for stretch marks. Lavender and frankincense are also great as well. And those are staples. And then for digestive discomfort, again, continue with the digestion, fennel, peppermint, lemon, massage into abdomen for respiratory discomfort, the breathe and the breathe vapor stick, and also a drop of lemon, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, diffusing it and putting it on your body um, aromatically for gas and flatulence, peppermint. Peppermint with, mix it in with some honey and also drink in a warm, like with some warm or room temperature water. And then you're also, you can rub the digestion right on top of your stomach and area that feels like a little gassy. And then another good one too, that's not on here is the tamer, which is actually tamer is for, for kids and also for babies. So it helps them when they're gassy and colicky, but it also help you. Aches and discomfort, the deep blue oil and the aroma touch for nightly massage is going to be amazing. And also the cassia, um, oregano, on guard, thyme are going to be good. If you are having urinary discomfort, you feel like you're getting a UTI and you can take it every hour until you notice an improvement with uh, you can take it in a veggie cap and you're going to follow it up with PB assist. And then for immune support, you're going to work with on guard, on guard, soft gels and rollers. I have to say that uh, the, the deep blue has been a product that I know that all my ladies that have been pregnant have, you know, been fascinated in, you know, especially on the third trimester. And we're going to talk about that. But you said it in the bottom of, you know, in the feet and the ankles is like so good, you know, just to relax all of this weight that is coming into your body, right? And that adjusting and it's just fantastic. So uh, the third trimester, of course, is like when things are getting closer, uh, but also, you know, this little baby is growing and this little human is getting bigger. And obviously your body is starting to like come into that transition that you're getting all the energy, but then you're getting big. And then it's like your body is like, you know, just adapting into how much longer can I take all this weight? So, of course, all this transition about, you know, I, I think that something that we have to keep in mind is not only the transformation of your body and how you're taking care of all the, you know, the physical into the ankles and into the belly and into the, you know, the, the digestion and into the breathing. It's also so much about the emotional level, right? All this transition and process of like uh, the change and transformation. I mean, like, I know Isabella and uh, Susan, um, who I invited to, is like her first baby. And it's like, I can just imagine all these mental of things is like what's coming and the preparation and what do I have to get. I mean, my manager went just through that and it's like, it's something new and transforming and it's coming for good. And all of this is like a lot of the oils in giving you all this mental, you know, relaxation. And I just wanted to highlight it, obviously, you know? Yeah. It's a total like transformation of your identity. So you're shifting into motherhood, you know, um, in shadow work, it's called the ego death, right? So you're going through that whole process. And on top of it, we're like going through a pandemic and like so much polarization in the world and all the different things that are happening. And we live in a world where everything is collective and everything is connected. So how can it not affect us, right? And when you're pregnant, you're super sensitive and feeling all the feels and super hormonal. So definitely essential oils help at every level, especially emotionally, mental, spiritually, at all of the different etheric levels of our body. So definitely working with plant medicine 
And utilizing the power of the plant medicine makes such a huge difference. And when you can ingest them because these oils are so pure and actually bring them to interact with the chemistry of your own body, it really makes a difference in your hormones. And when your hormones are balanced, your emotions are balanced because that part of the brain that your hormones are processing and being activated and secreting and sending all the messengers is the same part of the brain that has to do your limbic brain with processing your emotions. So it all is connected. And, you know, the, the oils and working with plant therapy really makes a difference. Yeah. And that, let's go back into that. Right. So the, the products that we recommend that is like definitely to keep, so you keep into your multivitamins and that your terosens, and let's talk about so other things that you need, maybe the sleep support, that's what you need, a lot of relaxation, because probably you're getting uncomfortable in your bed, so what about using serenity, you know, serenity that is just a blend of relaxation, that it can be either diffused, or you can have it in the soft gels, you can use adaptive, definitely, you know, to control that mindset that is running all times, and it's like, Sometimes it doesn't let you go to rest because you're just having so many things that have to get done, right? The vetiver, the cedar wood that are fantastic to relax and sleep, lavender, chamomile. Uh, for the growing discomforts, frankincense, uh, lemongrass and aroma touch, copaiba, all of those, you know, are great for the relaxation of the muscles and the pains and, you know, aches, the lavender, uh, the deep blue, the frankincense, again, you know, mixing the deep blue rock with the frankincense and that, you know, applying it into like early your back, into your legs. And uh, um, the legs discomfort, here we go, out of my touch or cypress uh, into the calves with the deep blue and uh, having nutrients for your bones, complex, obviously, and hemorrhoids and uh, Obviously, Aroma Touch is perfect. You know, you can mix it with geranium and uh, in a little bit of a carrier oil and just, you know, it will definitely relax you, in a, you know, in a soap bath. So, so swelling and retention and like legs, putting your legs up against the wall is going to be really helpful. And then for water retention, lemon and a few drops in your water. Um, actually like one or two at the most. And so, and then you can also use three drops of geranium, ginger, lemon, lavender in a roller bottle with some fractionated coconut oil and roll on your ankles and feet a few times a day. And then also massage your feet and ankle in an upward motion towards the movement towards your heart. So you're scooping up towards your heart. So that's the lymphatic way. So you're helping the lymph of any swelling. So you're bringing it up towards your heart. When you're with your arms, you're doing an, like a massage and dry brushing towards the heart area. And then group B support, you're gonna wanna do um, lemon oregano tea on guard and place a few drops in your veggie cap one uh, three times a day for one week. And then indigestion, right? That starts happening in indigestion, um, heartburn. So digestion, digest zen is amazing for that. And I would like rub it on top of my belly and it would feel so much better. And then on the onset of mild heartburn, you can take the digest zen uh, soft gel or tap. And those are really helpful when you're experiencing that kind of really annoying discomfort. And then for labor and delivery, right? This is when, you know, your nerves and the excitement and like what's happening and you're gonna continue taking your LLV. And depending on like how your baby is and what kind of labor and delivery that you're having, right? So I tried to do a home birth and I did actually end up going to the hospital last minute because my baby was sunny side up and I had already been for two days in labor in my bathtub trying to do a home birth. And I really wanted that experience but then I ended up do going to the hospital because for me, it just like the baby wasn't turning. I was doing the spinning babies technique. I was using all the oils and then I got a little dehydrated. So I ended up going to the hospital delivering naturally. I did get an epidural, even though I didn't want one in the beginning in my like birth plan. I was like, I don't want an epidural, but 
after two days of being in labor, I was like, okay, I think I got the whole natural part down and I had my like water birth. I didn't have the delivery in the bath, but I did have that experience of having some of the labor being at home. So you had all the experiences, Maya, not just one. I had all of the experience. I had the, the home birth experience and the hospital experience. And in the end, it was really positive because I was still able to deliver him naturally. He was eight pounds. I brought my diffuser, my lavender, my ylang-ylang, my geranium, my clary sage into the hospital. I hit the nurses were like, oh, Oh my God, this room smells amazing. They just were so happy to be in there because, you know, you can bring these oils to help continue supporting you. So preterm labor, lavender, serenity is amazing. For contractions, this is when you're going to want to bring back the clary sage, myrrh, geranium, um, lavender again. So lavender is a really important one. And another one that I really liked that helped me was basil in my lower back. So the basil oil was really great. For breech babies, you're going to mix five drops of myrrh with one tablespoon of a carrier oil. So carrier oil could be anything, could be even olive oil or coconut oil, and you're going to massage in a circular motion, and you're going to help to visualize the baby's head facing down and crowning where it needs to go. And for episiotomies, so if you need, like if you end up getting like cut, right, or anything like that, six tablespoons of witch hazel, four tablespoons of filtered water, five drops of lavender, frankincense, geranium, helichrysum, and you're going to put in a spray bottle. I did this anyways, even though I did not tear, but you're still bleeding for six weeks after. So you're going to want to have like some kind of spray that's going to help kind of that area to heal and plant medicine. So I made that spray for myself. And then for calming and focus, you're going to use balance, serenity, and, you know, that's going to help you for, for, for that emotional part. And then back labor, which is what I have, the deep blue, the aroma touch. I mean, you cannot get enough of oils when you're going through what I went through, which was the back labor of the baby sunny side up. Um, and then labor discomforts, you're going to continue applying and using lavender, clary sage, balance on the bottoms of your feet to give you more energy, peppermint, cheer, wild orange, all of the uplifting, elevating blends. And then immune support, if you're feeling like, okay, you want more immune support, you want, you'll be diffusing on guard in your hospital room or in your setting, wherever it is that you feel that you want to be delivering your baby. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that is, you know, the pregnancy part. And we're gonna go back to pregnancy and oils. And then we have the baby's one. So any questions so far, you can type in the chat or unmute yourselves, any questions so far? Question, will you be able to send this slideshow? So we don't share the slideshows with you, but you're welcome to take pictures if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Do you mind going back to the third trimester so I can take oh. a picture of that, please? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So. That one, yeah. So this one's gonna be awesome, especially for like leg discomfort, sleep support, hemorrhoids, all of that. And then I think the next one's also a third trimester. This one, right, the swelling. Yeah, and so I know Susan, you work with um, with with Gabriella, so Gabriella can definitely help to connect you in with all of this information as well. Yeah, I mean, you guys can still text us and connect with us. It's just I don't have a way of sharing this. Gabriella doesn't even have this PowerPoint, so yeah. So it's we're um, and then the next one that we're going to go into is babies and oils. So let me pull that one up.
And okay, so all right, can you guys see babies in oil? So how to use your oil, how to use the oil, uh, the essential oils, so babies in oils. So you always are gonna wanna dilute the oils, right? So you're gonna make sure that you always dilute it properly for children and for babies. So for babies, it's one drop essential oil to four teaspoons carrier oil. And then for children is one drop essential oil to one tablespoon carrier oil. So I love this because I'm talking about oils is like how amazing that we can do exactly the same, right? It's like, this is the dilution into like applying it to them. But also remember that the oil can be influencing their whole environment when you're just diffusing it, right? So, you know, help them into your environment, you know, having diffuser for like, you know, immunity or for relaxation or the, you know, the aroma. I cannot forget, Mina, that picture that we saw of you carrying Little River in uh, the Diamonds Retreat, whatever it was. You're holding your baby and it's like, she's just like making one little bottle of like river, like this is smelling it. And like whatever seconds or minutes after he's just totally pass out in a major conference room. It's so beautiful. So what amazing thing that, you know, we can share this with them and uh, we know it works for us. So now imagine for them, right? So diluting it. So, so as we said, the dilution rates are there. And, uh, and then we just start talking a little bit about the different areas that you can help them with. And then to diffuse, is it, is it uh, different when there's a baby present? Or the, the same thing? in the diffusing, right, Mina? Yeah, it is fine, Susan. Diffusing it is the same. I mean, and uh, I don't have baby, as you know, um, but I don't have a human baby, but my baby, uh, I diffuse all the same rate for me than for Oreo. And I have my diffuser for the allergies when I see her that she starts to sneeze and you know, it's the same. And... Yeah, so in River, my son's name is River, in his room, like I'll diffuse. So usually like if I'm diffusing in our living room, which is a larger area space, like I always diffuse oils every day, all day anyways. and. I don't, I haven't really changed the ratio that I do for myself normally because it's a bigger room, larger space. But if it's in his room, instead of doing like five drops, I'll do three drops of lavender. Um, now at this point in time, right? But if I'm rolling it on the bottoms of his feet, either I'll use a roller, which is already diluted. So the lavender roller or also the calmer baby roller, the, the calmer kids oil. And I'll put on the bottoms of his feet and those are already diluted. Um, but you'll notice like if the baby, if it's too strong, like they'll have a response to it. Like maybe they'll rub their eyes if it's too much for them. They'll have a response to the oil if, if it's something that they don't like, right? So, but I've, what I do is I usually put it on the bottoms of his feet while he was sick, I put um, the breathe on the bottom of his feet, also down his spine. And so you start learning how to really apply these oils in a very um, diluted way with the rollers. And I think the rollers are the easiest way to do it. And then not being scared to diffuse oils because they, they love it. Like kids, this is plant medicine, right? So this is, it's all going to be good for them. I mean, you just don't want to overdo like peppermint because it can be like too minty for them, especially in the beginning, but now he's eight months. So now everything I diffuse for myself, he's already like used to it by now. Right. For the hair, like sometimes they get like cradle cap, what you can diffuse, what oils you can use is tea tree and cedar wood, and you can apply to their hair and scalp. Of course, you're going to diffuse it. Also, uh, ears. Kind of, cup? I'm sorry. Excuse me. What is cradle cup? 
cradle cap is a condition that babies get sometimes. My baby didn't get it, but a lot of babies can get cradle cap. So it's kind of like, uh, it's like a shedding of their scalp and it's like dry skin that happens. If you Google cradle cap, it like you'll, you can see a lot of pictures of it. And so this is for their hair and you can like massage in tea tree and cedar wood diluted for their scalp and hair. Also ears, if they're having like any kind of ear aches or issues with their ears, lavender, tea tree, basil, and you apply it behind their ears and that's really helpful. Any kind of like chest stuff and breathing stuff, spearmint, frankincense, rescuer, which is a baby kids line and also the breathe, I love breathe and also eucalyptus, you're gonna massage on their chest diluted and also again, bottoms of the feet and the back. So I love the symphony of the cells, which is another way to apply the oils. So once you get your oils and whoever you're working with, right? So if you're working with Gabriella, myself or Chantal, whoever you're working with, you, they, we can teach you more about the symphony of the cells and the importance of rolling the oils on the back. So for feet, you're gonna to wanna to use balance, lavender, stronger on the bottoms of their feet, skin, lavender, tea tree, frankincense, um, any kind of like skin issues that they're having. And of course, very diluted for babies. Um, and then teeth, right? So right now he's teething. So the Roman chamomile, the copaiba, the lavender along the jawline and the copaiba, sometimes I'll put my finger around the rim of the oil cap and I'll just like take a little drop of the copaiba and rub it on his gums. And he instantly feels relief. So most babies like cry and get really fussy. Like he's gotten really fussy, but he's not like crying that much because I feel like he's so supported by the oils. Any kind of back issues. So I remember one time we drove down from uh, New York to Miami. So it was like a four day, we broke it up into six hours. And by the end of the trip, like when we got to Miami, he had like torticollis to his neck, I think from sitting in the car seat for so long. So we put frankincense, some copaiba down his spine. And the rescuer is also amazing because babies, you know, like they're so the, the, those car seats are so like when they're, especially when they're so little, it's like, you know, their spines are developing and the carriers and how you hold them and you still have to live your life. So for yeah. back support, you're going to want to massage along their spine with copaiba, frankincense, lavender, rescuer, one of the best oils for colicky and gassy and abdomen. We're going to use the tamer ginger, very diluted and wild orange. So you can massage on the stomach, lower abdomen, but the tamer and even digestion, very diluted as well is gonna be your best friend, the tamer oil. And even putting some tamer on the bottoms of their feet, that really helps colicky babies, any kind of abdomen things going on. So yeah, so that is, those are some of the tips that we have for you on the baby and the baby side and then we're going to go and back. I run to see to get the bottles so for you in case that you use your oils but you haven't seen the baby line or the kids line you can see this is like the bottles are white and they're like you know this is the tamer hammer you know and, uh, and yeah the different ones the stronger that you mentioned so much is right there and for kids, again, we can't stress enough. You're always going to want to dilute your oils. And this is a dilution chart. You can always find this dilution chart on Google. I mean, this dilution chart is everywhere. So don't worry about it. You can take a picture of it. If you need more help and support, you can always text or call Gabby or Chantal or whoever it is that sent you the link to this recording um today so yeah the dilution chart is super important and again the most popular oils that we work with as moms right as new moms working with fertility working with babies and beyond even in postpartum is going to be the breathe oil the deep blue and the digestion the lemon the frankincense the wild orange these are the your most popular go-to oils and so the breathe is going to help to maintain clear airways and it's the respiratory blends. It promotes feelings of, you know, clear breathing day and night. And this is the one that I just helped my son with when he had like a runny, stuffy nose, bottoms of his feet. 
when you see that it has the A, T, right? You see A, T, and then on the digestion, you see A, T, and I, right? So aromatically, topically. These are aromatic and topic, the, the breathe and the deep blue. You, you shouldn't really ingest these two. And then the digestion, you can also ingest and use internally as well. That's what that means, the A, T, and the I. The deep blue, you're going to want to use for sore, achy muscles and for comforting and massage. And the digestion is our digestive blend for upset stomach, constipation, motion sickness, nausea, and improved digestion. Yes. And that, you know, it's like so much between the lemon and the, you know, lemon for, you know, cleaning, detoxifying, clearing the, even, you know, the gastrointestinal system, you know, drinking lemon, we know that it helps you to have a, you know, more um, less acidic diet, more alkaline. So we all need to have that lemon, not only the kids, everybody needs a little bit more alkaline diet. And that the frankincense, as we said, you know, supports the whole cellular level in every single way. You can take it internally, you take it every morning, but also the kids can be having a little bit of that into, you know, their feet, in their spine, for relaxation, for sleeping, for everything, for growing, you know, generating good, beautiful cellular levels. So they have good bones, right? And that wild orange, obviously, happy, motivating, inspiring, creative. And obviously the wild orange and the lemon, we can say we also can use them for cleaning the house, the kitchen, the counter, put it into the diffuser, you know, a smell the environment, happy and good and clean. So much, so much to do with all this oil. And also for the postpartum support, right? Like these are all oils you're going to want to have postpartum because the lemon helps with detoxing. The frankincense is the king of all oils. So that right there, that oil is, if there's one oil you can have, and when in doubt, frankincense, frankincense on everything, right? You know how like my big fat Greek wedding has the Windex? Well, we have the frankincense. That's how I like to see frankincense. Exactly. It promotes feelings of calm. It really works with your nervous system. It helps with stress, with anxiety, with regeneration. It's the oil of truth and meditation. So this is the king of all the oils. And then the wild orange is, is a natural antidepressant. So this is one that I, especially living up in the North right now, like I want to have with me all the time. And then the adaptive and copaiba, the adaptive is the calming blend. So it's for stress and helps you to calm. Every mother needs this oil. And then the copaiba is instead of using THC and any kind of like marijuana or um, you know, any kind of uh, medications that are going to help ease and calm your nerves, you can use the copaiba, which is actually a resin from the Amazon. And it has the same calming effect without the psychotropic, you know, halluc you know, psychotropic kind of THC feelings. And it's completely safe and it's completely um, medicinal for you to ingest and it helps you to sleep and it helps you to stay calm. And for women that are um, nursing, it also helps us to produce more milk supply. So I love Copaiba. And, you know, we keep talking about the LLV, which is, you know, the long life vitality pack. So this is prenatal care for before, during, and postpartum. So this is amazing for prenatal vitamins. This is what I take daily for hair, skin, nails, foundational support for every health goal, maximum nutrition for energy, focus, well-being, healthy inflammatory response, and also healthy immune function. So this is going to be our go-to for everything. And so be sure to share your health concerns with Gabriella and I and or anyone that sent you the link to today's webinar so that we can help support you through your health and healing journey as you're becoming a mom, as you're in your pregnancy journey, during your postpartum, what do you need for labor? We're gonna help you to have and design a customized plan for your own concerns. And so okay. now to get oils into your home, what are we gonna do for that? Yes, if you are not, yeah, a user of essential oils. We want to tell you how you can get your oils. Uh, the one way that you can get it is just buying retail. You just buy a bottle of oil. 
and that, but it will be the same as going to the farm, you know, to the Whole Foods or the supermarket or the pharmacy to buy one oil is more expensive. And uh, the fact is that you're not having any support in any professional level that is nobody helping you, but, and also you don't even know what quality of oil you're getting, right? It's, um, but we like to say in Doterra that friends do not like to, the friends do not like friends to buy expensive stuff. So we don't let our friends to buy retail. So we want our friends to have a wholesale that it's the way to get your products with a membership. So you get a membership that is like the same membership that you will get for Costco or Netflix. And you will pay, you know, uh, $35 and you will get all your products. 25% retail down the price. So the number three and um, best way, the best way to get even more savings, they'll be just to buy in a set up a preset kit. So to start, so doTERRA has, you can get your membership and uh, you can become part of our community by getting a preset kit like this picture is like one of our kits and you will be the membership the 35 dollars are weight and that's what you get yes so that's the best part like gabriella said is that you cancel and you waive the 35 dollar fee if you start with one of the kits so we have the cura collection so the cura collection is the top 10 over the counter um, most used um, alternatives to medication, right? So doTERRA looked at what were, you know, the top 10 most over-the-counter used medicines like Tums and Tylenol and all kinds of different oil, uh, all, all kinds of different medications. And th these are all of our alternatives to them. So this is the Healing Cura Collection, which is wholesale, um, $249.50. And so this is all of the different oils. So three oils, four supplements and more. So you have uh, different products that come in the current collection. Then you have the home essentials kit, which is the one I started with. So this one's perfect for stress, anxious feelings, overall health. And this one has the pedal diffuser. And so you get, you know, the free wholesale membership with all of the kits. And you also get our guidance and support and connection to our team and tribe. So I highly suggest um, this kit if you're on a budget. In the beginning of when I started working with these oils, I was. And if I had not been on a budget and now knowing what I know now, I would have definitely started with the natural solutions kit, which is kind of like a makeover for everything that you need in your nature's medicine cabinet to live a healthy, happy, lifestyle that's holistic and toxic free and you're really ready to revamp your medicine cabinet. So I would definitely start with the natural solutions because you're going to get more bang for your buck and save $300 in the end. Another one for budget friendly, these are two budget friendly ones. And so it's the healthy start kit and the aroma essential collections. And so this, these ones, the bottles are actually five milliliter instead of the regular 15 milliliter bottles. So you're gonna have your you know, top oils that are most used and um, you're still gonna be able to waive the $35 cancellation fee, but they're smaller oils and smaller diffusers. And this is if you're just like wanting to get started and you perfect for stress, anxious feelings, overall health. So it doesn't really matter how you get started, just get started. And from there you can develop, right? There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever way is best for you and your budget to get started as soon as possible so that you can start really utilizing and implementing this new low toxic lifestyle into your into your being, right? And then if somebody already has diffusers and they already have, um, you know, doTERRA oils, then you can always start with the Healthy Habits Kit, which will give you the Long Life Vitality Pack, the PB Assist, the Paradigm, the Terrazyme to help break down foods and the, and the Deep Blue Rub. Um, which is amazing for aches and pains. And, you know, you want to take the life, lifelong vitality. And the lifelong vitality, you can also order a separately aside and you can also get 30 days money back guaranteed. So I was really skeptical because I always believed that we were supposed to get all of our nutrition from our foods, right? But nowadays, our, our soil is depleted. So we're not getting 
the same amount of nutrition that we got from foods that our grandparents did, right? Nowadays, one orange that we eat, right? We have to eat six oranges to get the same nutrition that our grandma got from one orange right? Because our soil is so depleted and how they're farming things. So it's really important to have supplementation, but not just any supplementation. Because if you go to the regular pharmacy, you're going to be peeing out most of your supplements. But with doTERRA supplementations and all of our research and development and scientists that we have, not only is there frankincense oil in them, right? And different oils in them, but they're whole foods supplements. So it's like, you know, you have your omegas, which are all of your, um, all of your, uh, all of your fatty acids that you need and all of your omega um, fish oils. And then you have your microplex, which is like your salad in a bottle. And then your alpha CRX, which are all of your antioxidants. And these are all whole food supplementations that are really amazing and powerful. And then you can also customize or add on Simple Solution, Kids Collection, doTERRA On Guard line, if you're feeling like you want to bring in. And now we also have, starting in April, in, in October 1st, the Abodi line, which are all of the home care line for low tox. So we have laundry pods and dishwasher pods and dishwashing soap and surface spray cleaner. So you can always customize on or the next month you can add on and start getting loyalty rewards products for that. But we'll talk about that at your membership consultation. So as we like to say, uh, there's three types of people. Uh, there's the people that live the lifestyle of wellness and use doTERRA products. They are the ones that they share their oils and they share the Terra as a brand and they can get their products paid off by sharing or the people that are building the business and earning an income and they can definitely make an impact. And uh, those are, I've been the three. <laughs> and uh, obviously now I am in building the business and earning an income and I'm feeling so satisfied and fulfilled that I know that I'm helping people feel better, get healthier, be happier, and, you know, using a brand that is amazing, using a product that I'm so proud and happy to be, you know, with this company that I know that is doing so good into the world and is having a great co-impacting, you know, I mean, action into everything from the moment that they collect the oil and helping those farmers to us that are consuming it, to those babies that are with the colicky stomach or to the ones that are having the business. So let us know if you're interested. And Love that, Gabriella. Yes. And, and we've all been, you know, I started off just living just the wellness lifestyle, just like Gabriella. And I love the product so much that I was naturally sharing them with my friends, my family on my social media. So then I started getting my oils paid for, right? Because when we like something, we naturally share what we love and what has worked for us. And like all of the miracles that I've seen with the plant medicine and using the oils on myself, on my boyfriend, on my baby, on my family, on my clients, like I can sit here and give you endless testimonials, right? So by sharing the products, then I started getting my products paid for. And then when I really started learning and saying, okay, well, I have now a little bit more experience than the average person and most people, all you really have to do is live it love the product, share a little bit that you know, because you're going to know more than most people anyways, because you've already used it and had experience with it. And then you can build and you can earn an income and make an impact. So if you see yourself doing what Gabriella and I are doing, and you're really interested in helping people and living a lifestyle that you are also earning an income and making an, an impact with helping people, we would love to talk to you more about the business opportunity of, you know, the three types of people that there are. And so definitely contact us and let us know that you're interested. And if you have any questions, this is the time to either unmute yourself or type it in the chat. And we want to thank you for joining us today, taking time out of your precious day and your families and your work to 
watch this webinar with us and make sure to text whoever sent you this link so that you can get started today or that you can answer all of your health questions and concerns so that we can guide you on customizing the best budget and plan for you to work with your oils. Thank you. Yes. Many thanks. Thank you, Chantel, for coming. And uh, definitely, you know, like, ladies, if you have any question, let us know. And if not, we just want to say thank you. We'll see you're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This was such a pleasure to share all this information with you guys. Awesome, Isabella. So glad that you were able to learn a few new things. And the more that you actually start using the oils and integrating them, you are going to learn even more, right? And you're going to discover how plant medicine can really support you in your new transition into motherhood and being the kind of mom that you want to be for, you know, for, for your baby and for your family. Awesome, Scott. You're welcome, Susan. Nice to see you, Chantel. And we are going to close out the recording now. And thank you guys. And we will be in touch and talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.